Welcome back, Lego Gamers. And today, we are back to solve that right there. Welcome back, Lego Gamers. Today, we are be going. Uh, we are going to be solving this Rubik's cube. Anyways, I'm going to be teaching you. So, um, what I'm going to tell you is you always want to solve the white side first, but also you want to match like these colors together all the way across, right? But with the white still matching together. That's what I'm going to be teaching you. And then... I'm going to teach you how to do the top layer and the top layer algorithms. Um, and I'm going to show you a piece of paper. I know my handwriting is horrible. But um, um, I, I, I'm going to try to put like little... If you, I don't know if this will work. Okay. But I'll, I'll put them in the description. If you need to know, like I'll just write them down so you don't have to worry about anything. Anyways, we're going to jump right in. Move my origami stand, complete paper, out of the way. So, let's start with this side as our, our white, okay? That means this is going to be our yellow. This is going, well, let's just jump in. So, we want to put, we want to put the white here and the green here and luckily we have our other green and white here so we're just going to move that into place and now the opposite of green is blue the opposite of red is orange so and then the opposite of white is yellow obviously okay I'm not going to do that I'm going to mix that up a little bit. So, we're going to want to find the orange one. Okay, the white and orange. And blue, because green on the opposite side is blue. So, we're going to want to find orange, white, and blue. Which, this is white, orange, and blue. So, we're going to move that into place. It's going to go right here, because obviously so I turned it up but it's and it ended up right there to fix that we're just gonna turn it again turn it sideways like right there so we can get it into there that's the wrong one by the way and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn that so if it's on this side we're gonna turn it that way if this one were on that side we would turn it that way but in my case it's that way and then you turn it up and then back. So then you got this here, this here, and the L shape. And then we got the blue, and the opposite of that is green. Now the other white's there, so we're just going to turn that right below that. And like I said before, we're going to turn it that way because it's the opposite. Move it up, and then turn back. See, we got the whole white side done. Got the green done orange done, blue done, and red done. So you can see that some of our colors are up there. Now what we're going to do is what I like to call it the fish out, um, the fish. That means only one yellow is up top. So to here we're going to do L inverted, U, R, U inverted, L, U, R inverted. See, we ended up getting two yellows. So we're going to match um, the bottom left one up with those. Okay. Then we're going to do that same algorithm again. L inverted. U, R, U inverted. L, U, R inverted. As we can see, we got the so-called 
fish. We're going to move... Okay, we got our one yellow, correct? We're going to move the two colors into the matching place. Meaning, right, we, we got the yellow still. We just want to match them like that. We're going to have the fish facing the bottom left with the white at the bottom. So white at the bottom. Then we're going to go R, U, R inverted, U, R, U, U, R inverted. Now just because we got the top solved now, doesn't mean we're done. You should have one solve side. Here it is. You want to turn it to there. So it's matching up. So white facing bottom and our, our the side that we just solved facing the left. And then we're going to do L inverted. Yeah, L inverted. U R U inverted. L U R inverted. Now, just because we got back to the fish, which that is yellow, doesn't mean we messed up. That's that's actually a good thing. So we want to do the same thing that we did. We got the fish, we want to match up the colors. Facing bottom left, R, U, R inverted, U, R, U, U, R inverted. And now, if we turn it, you can see all we have to do, and you solve the cube. Well, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Peace.